be distracted with all the madness Learn to heal as quick as you feel the power is magic Don't make a happy don't want you so fracky Gotta stay in the light, keep a high vibe to be effective Slow, rest your If you are new here, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up. And make sure you tune in and watch all of my other videos. Um, also, make sure you follow me on Instagram. Today is a pretty exciting day. I'm actually going to try wedding dresses on for the first time ever <laughs> um i've only done this once but it was when akasi was getting married i went with her to try dresses on but obviously i've never done it because i've never been married before so we are going to a boutique bridal shop here in atlanta it's not bridals by lori so it's just not this place actually one of my friends kiera um referred me here and so far customer service has been a one they called me on monday they text me yesterday they text me again this morning just saying hey we're so excited to see you this is our address you got an appointment at 1 30 blah 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 so yeah so far a plus in my book um but i'm not really feeling excited or anything and i don't know why I don't know I think the older I get the less excited I get about stuff until it's actually happening um, so maybe once I get there and actually try a dress on I'll be a little bit more excited but I'm going to pick Darian's mom up she's gonna ride with me my mom and Leia um, and Acacia are going to meet me there and yeah that's all that I have planned for today I'm not doing anything else today. More than likely, as soon as this is over, I'm gonna go back home and just kinda chill for the whole day. And then tomorrow, either today or tomorrow, I need to clean out my clothes. Like I need to clean out my closet um, because I have so many clothes that just don't fit or t-shirts, like I, I have a million t-shirts and I wear the same five. Um, but yeah, that's what we're doing today. A wedding update. Not a whole lot has happened. If you haven't already, make sure you check out my proposal videos, how we asked um, all the people in our wedding to be a part of our journey. And yeah, I think what I'm gonna start doing now is while I'm looking for my dresses, I'm also going to start, oh shit. Anyway, I'm having a real hard time vlogging while I'm in the car, but yeah, no real wedding updates. I think what I'm about to do now is while I'm looking for my dress, start looking for bridesmaids dresses. One thing I do know, everybody is wearing the exact same dress. I'm really not a fan of different dresses. Um, so I have to make sure I find something that fits everyone's body type which shouldn't be a huge deal um 
because I don't want anything super tight or uncomfortable for them. I want to I want them to be super gorgeous and not necessarily comfortable but super formal. So yeah, that's what we're doing. I'm in Darian's truck. I absolutely hate driving his truck. Um I just I'm only driving it because I'm picking his mom up. If I was going by myself, I would be driving my car. Um, but yeah, it's just something about driving other people's cars when they have a new car that I don't, I don't like. <laughs> like, I don't want to drive your truck because if something happens or if I get a scratch on it or something, then it's like a big deal. And I don't like that, so... I'll be driving his truck right now just because I'm picking his mom up like I said and I have a coupe but other than that put me in my own car boo. so yeah anyway I'm almost at his parents house so I will talk to you guys hopefully they'll allow me to film in the bridal shop I read some reviews that said they don't allow you to film or take pictures unless you're actually purchasing the dress um, so yeah, I guess I will see y'all when we get there. Today is the next day. I've been just, or maybe it's not even the next day. I think it's a couple days later. I've just been all over the place with vlogging. I honestly have just been not really in the YouTube mood to be real with y'all. I haven't filmed any sit down videos. Um, I haven't really done a great job at vlogging lately just because I did get a little bit discouraged. Um, so yeah, I don't even want to go there, but we are still going to continue to be consistent. We're still going to pray and manifest over what we want with our channel. And we are still going to provide great content, real authentic content. Um, to be real with y'all, sometimes I feel like I'm just kind of at a standstill because I don't do drama right so I'm not filming videos for entertainment purposes and I'm not doing nothing fake so this is literally my real everyday life I am a normal black girl living in Atlanta um, engaged I don't have any kids so you're not gonna see me at the bar every day you're not gonna see me smoking hookah every weekend that's just not my lifestyle and I think that's pretty trendy right now on YouTube. So anyway, we're going to continue to be us and we know we're going to shine regardless. But I do want to give y'all some updates because I feel like I left y'all hanging um, before we close out this vlog. In the last vlog, I showed y'all we got a new mirror and y'all... Obviously, it's bed day, it's sheets day. I feel like every time I vlog, I'm washing our sheets. I'm so intentional and consistent about keeping our sheets clean. It's like clockwork. Every week, I wash our sheets. Um, but yeah, that's what you see going on in the background. I am washing our sheets. I did just finish laundry, so I need to fold that. But I wanna show y'all our mirror. Make sure you check out our last vlog, which I'll put it right here. We went shopping for a mirror and y'all, Darian got it mounted on the wall so nicely. It's literally so perfect. And I absolutely love it. It kind of goes with what we're doing over here. Obviously, I have to make up the bed once the sheets are clean and my fan goes in the corner. But yeah, I'm thinking about putting some actual pompous grass over in the corner 
and I also need to get a photo to fill that with but I love this this is my side of the room and I absolutely love it say good morning I also finally 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 found the perfect toy basket for mace for us to keep in our room that goes with our decor and it is this wire toy basket that has a little bone and it says playtime um so it's very subtle he has a play basket or a toy basket downstairs but obviously at nighttime whatever when he wants to play I like to keep a couple of his babies upstairs and a couple of his toys upstairs too. So this basket was a perfect find from TJ Maxx for, I think it was $14.99. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna keep it in our room and keep it in his little space. I am probably going to get him a new bed. Uh, like an actual nice permanent bed because we're at the point where Mace doesn't sleep with us anymore. He sleeps in his own bed. So we're all happy about that. But yeah, that's just a really quick update that I wanted to provide because I kind of didn't show um, the finished product of the mirror and hanging it up in the last vlog. So I feel like I owed it to you guys to hang it up here. So yeah, oh, another thing. I think I told y'all I show I show a, um I show a really small snippet of me going dress shopping because one I was in a bad mood that day, two I wasn't excited, and three we could not film. But I found my dress. I said yes to the dress, and y'all, it's a bad bitch dress. I ain't even gonna hold you. That's like the running thing between me and my mama when we walked in the store. She was like, what you looking for? I was like, girl, I'm looking for a bad bitch dress. And she was like, all right, we're going to find a bad bitch dress. So it was an amazing experience. Me, my mom, Acacia, Leia, and Darian's mom, that was my crew. We went. I tried on two dresses. Um, let me just tell y'all about the whole experience. The whole experience was just literally to die for. It was more than I could have ever dreamed of. Bridles by Amy in Atlanta is the just, I would recommend anybody to go there if you're in Atlanta. When I walked in, one of the consultants, you know, they came over, gave us champagne, water, whatever it is you want. Um, and she asked to see my Pinterest board. And I showed her my Pinterest board. And she pulled the first dress and the first dress was very cute. It was very nice. It was kind of like off the shoulder. And I didn't like that. Like, I don't want nothing off the shoulder because I'm a want to raise my hand. It felt me, it made me feel restricted. Um, and so Amy, the owner, was actually finishing up with a client. And she came over and she saw the dress that I had on. I never showed her the Pinterest board or anything. I had met the owner before at a convention. And she was like, I have the perfect dress for you. She was like, it just came in from Europe. I haven't seen it on anybody. It just got here. I didn't even get to steam it or press it, whatever. We are gonna try it on. I'm like, okay, shit, why not? So go in the dressing room, second dress, put it on. She's like, don't look in the mirror. Let me do all this stuff. She, she just did me up, child. All the accessories, everything. And I didn't look in the mirror and I walked out and everybody was like, oh, Oh my God, and then I looked in the mirror, I was like, mama, we got my bad bitch dress. <laughs> so yeah, that's my story. Second dress, first store, said yes. My mom gifted me with the dress, so she purchased it for me. Shout out to my mama. She, y'all, listen, let me tell y'all something about a good mama, okay? The mom was going to step and mine step for me all the time. So she gifted me with my dress, literally everything that I wanted out of the store. Um, and she'll do my alterations, like gift me with all that stuff. So I'm so grateful and so appreciative. I can't even tell y'all how much the dress cost. Um, but yeah, it's amazing. And I'm not changing. I specifically on a, I specifically only want one dress i just don't want to change into another dress like no i'm wearing that dress all day so that's where we are with that your girl said yes to the dress 
hopefully the dress is here amy did put a rush order on it because with everything everything happening with with everything happening with covid and blah 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 we kind of just need to make sure we get it here asap in case the world decides to shut down but it's coming from europe and child when y'all see my pictures if you're not follow me on instagram follow me on instagram i'm still not sure if i'm going to actually vlog my wedding day i'm considering it but i kind of don't want to either but we're gonna see i might just ask all of my bridesmaids to kind of pass my camera around during that whole day that morning while we're getting dressed um after, obviously they can't in the ceremony but for the reception like hey pass my camera around so we can get some footage outside of being able to share it on youtube being able to look back from my own perspective years later and say oh my god i remember that day like it was yesterday so that's where we at that's a little update i hope y'all will continue to support me tell your friends to tell their friends um we're almost at 11k and i'm super excited about it and yeah thank y'all so much for all of your sweet genuine comments there's always so much positive energy over here and i absolutely love it if i'm having a hard day and girl i have hard days i slide right over to the comments and y'all have said some just really nice uplifting sweet things to us so yeah that's that i hope you all have an amazing rest of your weekend an amazing rest of your week whenever it is that you're watching this and continue to stay tuned and i'll see y'all in the next one